Hi, this is Scott with Learn to Stop Hunger, and today we're going to take a look at how to paste a transparent graphic with Paint.net. As you can see, I've already got Paint.net open, and I have a graphic opened, and this is the one that I'm going to paste another graphic onto. And my other graphic here is a graphic, an image of a box with a transparent background. And typically, if you just go ahead and copy this, um, let's say I'll go in here edit select all and then we'll do edit copy and if I come over here and I do an edit paste then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger here and I go ahead and move it over as you can see it's pasted in actually I'll go ahead and combine it with the rest of the graphic you can see that it wipes out my background here right around that box let's say that I don't want to really keep that transparent area but I want to just bring in the box and have my blue background be in here there's an easy way you can do that with paint.net so I'm gonna undo everything I did here alright and I'll go ahead and go back here and I will just copy. Actually, I think I already had it on my clipboard, but better safe than sorry, I guess. And I'm going to come back over to my main graphic. And what I'm going to do is to add a new layer. The layers, add new layer. And I need to make sure that my new layer is selected. You can see currently it is layer 2. And if I go ahead and say edit, paste, And now I'll drag this and make it bigger. You can see now I don't have that transparent area right around the box anymore. And I can click out of my box, which is still, it's on a separate layer right now, but what I can do to combine it is make sure it's selected right here, which it still is, and then click on this merge layer down. So now I have just one layer and I have successfully pasted my transparent graphic into my other graphic and I'm able to keep my background around the outside of the box as you can see. So that's a simple little trick when using paint.net. Um, it just is a way to be able to paste that transparent graphic in there and keep your original background. Hopefully you'll find that to be useful and continue to explore with paint.net as it's got quite a few features for being a free program.